All right, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am going to be playing the front nine of Eagle Lake Golf Course, plain stroke play, so I'll be going um, shot by shot with you, just kind of explain what, what we're doing here. So um, let's kick it off with the first hole, uh, par three. Uh, I actually missed the first two holes, so we're starting on hole three. I have a seven iron. It's about 180 out downwind. Um, to be honest, I hit a really dang good shot here. Um, you can't really see where the ball goes. It It's kind of cloudy, but hit the green, um, but just kind of uh, kind of firm. You can kind of see me going, hey, slow down, slow down, slow down, but kind of rolled off the back, but got a pretty good chip here. Um, I have 60 degree in hand. Just wanted to land it uh, right off the green and then let it roll down, and I hit exactly what I wanted to do, so I was pretty pumped about that chip. It was straight downhill, so um, those ones can get away from you if you hit it thin, but nevertheless, I had a tap in par there. It was pretty pretty good to start off that way, so even, even through three. Um, again, here is another par three. This is a short course that I'm playing, so um, this one I had a 50 degree. I was probably about 110 out. I just kind of wanted to punch one in there. And you can kind of see the ball flight there. Um, just pulled it. And so off the green, second shot, another 60 degree. This was probably my worst shot of the day. I just decelerated and it was no good. I was not really happy with that. But I got a par opportunity nonetheless, uh, probably 10 feet. Um, one thing I should have done, I should have brushed away all of the the stuff that was on the green because um, if you see here I roll right over top of one and it slows the ball down and that is the end result I was oh man I was pretty upset about that one so really short hole and I bogey <laughs> uh, but here's par four uh, kind of dog leg left I was trying to draw it but it actually faded um, and I actually got a pretty big roll so uh, kind of farther than I thought and left me behind this tree. This one, again, uh, I had to wrap it around those two trees that you see. So I just had to hit a punch slice and I actually pulled it off pretty dang well. Um, it sliced pretty dang hard. I avoided all of the, the rough and hazards and stuff and I was just pin high left. So have this little chip for my third trying to get this up and down. If you can get up and down most of the time, cause you're not gonna hit every single green. If you can get up and down most of the time, you can uh, you can save a lot of scores. If you can't, then you're gonna, your score's gonna be pretty bad, so. But yeah, uh, I was pretty happy about that chip. Um, it released exactly how I wanted to, so. Yeah, all in all, that was with a 60 degree. I was pretty pumped about that one. Um, just getting up to the green here. One thing I should have done, there was someone pressing me. It's, as you can see, I was looking back. I didn't clean off my ball or anything, but I'll usually do that, line up my putts. Um, but this one, again, just coming off a bogey. I really wanted to save par here, so I was taking my time here, making sure everything looked good. <clears throat> we'll see what happens here. Boom. Yeah, par save. Again, it was only like five feet, but it was worth it. All right, so a pretty good drive here. Just had a little bit of a tail to it, but all in all, uh, I was pretty happy with this drive. Don't know how far it went, but I was in in pretty good spot there in the middle of the fairway. Um, this one, I think I had another 175, so I had a seven, seven iron. And I hit this one kind of thin, um, but it had a. It started out right, but it drew pretty dang hard and actually hopped over the hazard, hit the green, but it had no spin, and so uh, it went right past the pin, stayed on the green, which I was pretty happy about. But this putt, um, this green was actually in pretty bad condition, and where I'm in right now, I think it had like some fungus or whatever, and I thought because of the fungus, it was gonna slow down the putt. Is actually the exact opposite. It was like slicker than ice. So uh, 
yeah, um, as you can see here, I hit it way hard. And uh, I was really upset. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It could have been a tap in par. Uh, but I got some work um, here to do left. And uh, again, it was probably the same distance as the last hole that I had to save par. So I was feeling pretty confident. I just said, hey, let's just get this in the back of the hole. Um, and I hit a good putt. I was really happy with the stroke and everything. So, um, but you can see here, I don't know what the heck happened, but it just dove left. It's really, really hard in that. Just skirted the edge. So this hole, another par four. Um, this one is a more position play. I do not need driver, even three wood. So I took out a four iron, just say, hey, get me in the middle of the green or middle of the fairway actually so yeah you you probably can see the ball flight if you really really look at it i pushed it way right um i was pretty upset as you can see there so i am in the rough on the right side pretty quick transition but this was probably the shot of the day over those two trees um I don't know, I think I cut it off, but I, I literally hit right next to the pin and it stopped. Like I could have hold out. So that, that shot I was really happy about, um, just getting it back in position. And obviously a, a good opportunity for birdie here. So, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I think I need to get better at these, uh, these little shorter putts. Again, I have felt like I was rolling the rock pretty good. Um, but I guess I just didn't have my reads down quite right. But this one, yeah, I mean, I had it. <laughs> I just left it short. You do not want to leave a birdie putt short. Like That's one of my biggest pet peeves. If you leave it short, it's not going in. So another par three, this one was about 110 yards in. I had a sand wedge, just took a full swing. Um, pretty happy with it, that was pin high. Pin high left, probably had 10 feet, 10, 12 feet. Again, I was like, okay, hey, let's uh, let's get this one in, get a birdie on the card here. Um, so again, taking my time. Really, the putter has really felt really decent. I'm using the Even Roll ER2, um, the Blackout Murdered um, putter, and I freaking love this putter. Um, but yeah, it was a... Uh, left to right putt so I was just a couple couple ball lengths out again perfect putt I just left it short so that's back to back birdie putts that I left short I was pretty upset about that one so class hole of the day uh, another par three again this is a really short course uh, this one was a 178 I believe I have a seven iron here it's downwind and this this one I was really happy about. I struck this one super nice, as you can see here. Yeah. I was gonna put a shot tracer on this one, but it didn't quite work out. But you can't really see where it ends up just because of the, the brush on the on in front of us. But I was pretty happy about that one, not gonna lie. A good one to end out with. So this one, I just rolled off the back as I got up there, so I didn't hold the green. Again, I think they're pretty firm right now. So again, this one's downhill, so I just wanted to leave it just off the edge of the green and let it roll to the hole. And, oh man, I thought that was going in. I was so upset. But rolled it in for par, and I think that was uh, two, two over. So two over through seven. Pretty pumped about that one, but yeah, thanks.